What's up everyone, this is Cybernut, and today I have a very special opening for you guys. Today we're going to open basically, in my opinion, the best set that has ever been released for Japan, and that is the uh, Rarity Collection 20th Anniversary Edition. So yeah, this set is so freaking awesome. It was just released for Japan. Evidently, it was selling out like crazy too. I got mine from Jokura.com. Uh, be sure to check them out. And this set is just awesome. I mean, it has to be like the best set for them because it's even on that level of like uh, Light's Revenge because in this set, you're getting a ton of reprints, cards that definitely needed reprinted, and even a few new cards for Japan. I mean, because it, it has some of the Legendary Dragon decks uh, cards, and, uh, of course, Japan doesn't get that. That's a product that only we get over here. So, they're actually getting those, but, uh, it has, like, a ton of good reprint stuff, too, and as you guys can even see from the front of the pack, which hopefully you guys can see, I know it, there's a little bit of glare with it, it even says what rarities are in this. So you get holographic rare, which is basically ghost rare, extra secret rare, ultimate rares, yes, they still have those, we don't, ultra rares, super rares, secret rare, and collector's rare. But, yeah, this set, uh, I've been really looking forward to it, so let's see what we get from it. Also, too, I want to show you guys, I also got these Silent Magician sleeves. So, I, I just think these are awesome. Can't wait to get the Morphin sleeves, though, as well, right? But yeah, enough talk, enough hyping it up. Let's open this up, because I've been really excited about this one. I'm hoping we get some really cool uh, Ultimate Rares, especially. And uh, I want that Holographic Rare, which is Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon, I think, if I remember correctly. I think I'll know the names of everything in this, but I do have my computer next to me as well, because I can't read Japanese, obviously. Let's see, that's everything out of the box. Man, I just love that design, too. This looks cool. Even the packs, I mean, that solid, like, black and red look. It matches my playmat, even. I just noticed that. Well, that's awesome. Everything's holographic, by the way, in the set, too. So, let's see. I need to get my hand stop shaking. I'm, th I'm that excited. <laughs> well, first off, we have Skill Drain. Super rare. Oh, that looks cool. Then I did Coral Dragon. I remember that one. That's a good reprint for them. Number 42 as a holographic. I don't know if I have one as holographic. I'll have to check. And Harpy's Feather Duster. Yeah, as an Ultra Rare. They actually have that on their ban list, by the way. We don't. That could change at some point. But yeah, this is actually a card that they can play. So that's reasons in this set. That's pretty cool looking, too. Good Ultra Rare. Um, hmm. Do we want to... Let's separate, I guess, the Ultra Rares and stuff. I, I don't really know how I want to separate these, because everything's good in this set, to be honest. I have Upstart Goblin. Oh man, that looks cool. Then of course, uh, Unizombie. Oh, I'd like to have that as a super rare in English. Another one of number uh, 42. And then we have uh, one of the Fairy Tale Monsters. Which one's this one? I want to make sure I say the right one. Uh, I believe it is uh, Snow, but I'm not sure. Let me double check myself because, again, if you have a computer next to you, you don't want to look like an idiot. Yeah, it's Fairy Tale Snow. All right. <laughs> No need guessing whenever I can just look it up, you know? Oh, Card of Demise. There you go. That's a good reprint for them. I believe it's already been confirmed we're getting this in the Kaiba Legendary Collection. So they're not going to have this reprint over us for too long. So don't worry. Skill Drain. Then uh, one of the trains. Oh, that's cool. Is that like... Uh, it's not Trolley Ollie. It's one of them, though. And Ultimize Zulkin. Oh, man. <laughs> Ultra Rare, too. That looks really cool. I love that. The Crimson Dragon. <laughs> That is awesome. Yeah, I know. I guess our... Uh, I Well, do we have one of him Ultra Rare? I think we do. But that just looks really cool to me. Like, it's the newer Ultra Rare. On the TGs. Oh, that's cool. It's pretty good to get, too, because Synchro Tuner. Foolish Burial. That is, of course, the Japanese art, because that's the cross. Then Harmonizing Magician. And the Eye of Tamias. So yeah, again, this is a good reprint for them because they didn't get the Legendary Dragon decks. So they didn't get like Dark Magician, the Dragonite. It's in this set, but they didn't get it as like the Dragon decks. And of course, they didn't get that reprint of Tamias. So this is a really good reprint for them. Besides that, it looks awesome. Ours is Ultra Air as well from uh, one of the Dragon's Legend. I guess three. Unleashed, I think we can get an Ultra Air. Oh, Tatsunoko. I actually remember that one because I got a few of those. Super Rare. Uh, Cosmic Cyclone. That's another good reprint. Then uh, Elder Entity uh, Int. <laughs> Basically, I think they say the name, so there you go. And uh, their Ultimate Zulkin. That's really cool. I, I like that. For some reason, the new holographic just looks a little better. Another one of Skill Drain. 
Then we have Unizombie again. Uh, the grass is greener, or what was the full name? I keep, I always think of the Japanese name. What is it exactly? I'll look it up real quick, so. It is that that grass looks greener. Okay, yeah, that was what the name change was. Okay, I'm still not used to that. And holy crap! Oh man, we got an ultimate rare. Uh, this one is Pot of Desires. Is that ultimate or is that collector's? I think that's actually ultimate rare, because collector's in that looks so similar. That looks so freaking cool, though. I can't believe that. Oh, man, that looks awesome. I, I love that. And besides that, too, you know, like, their ultimate rares look a little bit better than ours. Like, I, I like the ones we've been getting from OTS pack. I mean, it's better than nothing. But for some reason, they just still look different to me, especially than, like, the older ones. But that is really cool. I was going to double-check myself and see if it is an actual ultimate rare, but I think it is. I, I think there's a little bit more difference with that in collectors. Although they are very, very similar in how they look, so... That looks really cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm definitely adding that to my ultimate collection. That is amazing. We still have plenty of packs to go. I think we're only like halfway through them. Number 99. There you go. That's a pretty cool reprint. Then Gam Seal. Yeah, they actually have Gam Seal as uh, holographic for them too. We have that from uh, one of the OTS packs, but uh, it's probably a little bit easier to get out of this. And that's cool looking too. Tatsunoko, and then another one of Fairy Tale Snow. Yeah, I'd love to have all the kaijus holograph. I wish they'd make a box like they did for Noble Knights back then, the collection, but for kaijus. I think that'd be cool. Oh, Twin Twisters. Easily know which one that is. Then we have, uh, was it Night Express Knight, I think? I think that's the full name. It's one of the, the train cards, basically. Then, uh, let's, oh, okay, I know we have something cool, but, um, uh, let's see, this one is, uh, the Neos Fusion card, basically, Miracle Contact, I think, if I remember correctly, and here's a Collector's Rare, there we are, oh, man, that looks amazing, so, yeah, I, I can tell there is, okay, yeah, this is definitely a Collector's Rare, because it's Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, so, first off, that looks so freaking awesome. I have never seen a cooler collector's rare than that. But yeah, the difference is with these here. Here's like a regular ultimate rare. You guys can tell it looks like an ultimate rare, like what we have. Collector's rares, though, the reason I was trying to make sure I wasn't getting confused is they look similar because you can still feel the texture of like an ultimate rare, but it has like this sort of diamond-like reflection in it too. You guys can kind of see it from the light on there. So they're really similar looking, but there is a difference. It's a little easier to see, though, in person than on camera. So I was making sure I wasn't making a stupid mistake. But yeah, this is definitely a collector's rare, and holy crap, that just looks so cool. Oh, man. But yeah, remember, they didn't get Light's Revenge. So this is the first time they're actually getting reprinted this to get it fairly easily. So again, we did kind of get these ahead of them. I'm, I'm surprised, you know? That looks so freaking cool. And I don't know how many collector's rares you can get or what. I don't know if it's one per box. And same with ultimate rares and stuff, too. I hope we can get a couple. Let's see, Card of Demise. Then uh, Gen X uh, Undyne. Then another one of the trains. And Atomus. That is <laughs> that is seriously one of the coolest collector's rares I've seen. I'm definitely going to put that in a case. Like one of those uh, plastic cases or something. Because that looks amazing. Let's see, Upstart Goblin. Then another one of uh, number 42. Oh, I think we have something. Chicken Game. Well, that's cool to see the holographic, but what else do we have here? And uh, we got one of the uh, extra secrets. Yeah, that is the uh, Chimera Tech. Remember, because, uh, of course, the uh, the Legendary Dragon decks. So, yeah, that's what it looks like in this, too. It kind of looks like Platinum Rare, honestly, you know, from Noble Knights. Yeah, it's uh, Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon. It is extra secret. Okay, I'll double check and make sure I'll stay in the right rarity. Yeah, that's what it looks like, basically. It kind of looks like the Platinum Rares. Kind of. A little lighter, though. Platinum Rares were a little dark. But yeah, that looks awesome. They they also have the other stuff, too, from the Legendary Dragon X. It's like the, the extra secret. So you could actually get Dark Magician the Dragon Knight. So I'm hoping maybe if I do get another one, because I'm thinking I might, if they if I can get another one, uh, I would love to get a Dark Magician the Dragon Knight in that rarity. Because that just looks amazing. I mean, seriously. Another one of Coral Dragon. Then, of course, a Cosmic Cyclone, Ints, <laughs> I guess again, and Harpy's Feather Duster. Man, we still have a few packs, too. I hope we can get something else, like another Ultimate Rare. I know, I might sound greedy, but, I mean, these cards, so, they just look so freaking awesome. Uh, Chicken Game, that's cool. Then, of course, Tatsunoko, then another one of Genix Undyne, and uh, Winter Cherries. Oh, that's cool. They actually got his Ultra. I kind of like that, too. That looks cool.
But yeah, that's in the Mega Tens for us. So again, another reprint that we don't really have to worry about. So don't worry on that one. But I do believe Ghost Ash is actually in this. So <laughs> yeah, that's a reprint that we don't have and could really use over here. I think it's even an Ultimate Rare. You can actually get her as an Ultimate Rare in this set. Uh, let's see, uh, Upstart Goblin again, obviously. Another Gem Seal. That looks cool. I, I still love that. Uh, Grass is Greener. I'm just going to call it that. And we have the uh, HL. I want the Dark Lords. Oh, man, that is awesome. It's a regular Secret Rare this time, too. So, yeah, they actually even reprinted her because I think she's still a pain to get over for them as well. I think it's, like, the most expensive card in that set, too. The Destiny Soldiers, like it is for us. And, uh, yeah, this is another reprint we need as well, because I know a lot of Dark Lord players out there who have had a pain to, you know, it's been like a pain to get her, and, uh, yeah, that'd just be awesome to get a reprint, too. So, that's cool. And also, too, I don't know if her artwork was censored for us or not, so you guys can tell me in the comments. I have no idea. She looks like one of those cards, though, that, well, would get censored, you know? Only two packs left. Sorry if it's a longer video, but we gotta look at these cards. I mean, seriously. They are awesome. Number 99. Then Card Demise. I think I actually got a place out of those. <laughs> That's awesome. Unizombie. And then another one of Crystal Wing. This time as an Ultra Rare. Oh, that still looks cool. I like that. Although I'm happy we have our Secret Rare version. But uh, that looks cool. Either way, I mean, it's still Crystal Wing. One of my favorite Synchro Monsters. And now we're down to our last pack. So, I don't know. What can we end with? Let's see. I'll, I'll just say that, you know? I've pretty much gotten every rarity. I'm really happy with this. I have no idea if we can get anything else, so let's see. Another one of a TG. This one, it's Wonder Magician, right? I might be wrong. Forgive me if I am. It's been a while. Oh, there's a, you can actually get Super Rare, too. Dark Lord, Itchel. Then, of course, uh, okay, we do have something. All right, but first off, Harmonizing Magician, before I get thrown off. And we actually got Grass Looks Greener this time. This one is also a Collector's Rare. Oh, man, that, that is awesome. You can get two Collector's Rares out of these. Oh, I'm definitely having to get another one of these boxes. Seriously, after seeing this, that looks amazing. See, yeah, it's another one, Grass Greener. I know it's you know, slightly different. That's just why I call this card because I'm used to translation. But uh, that is so freaking cool to see like that. But uh, you guys can tell from the shine of it and everything, especially on the edges, that that is actually collector's rare. And that looks amazing, too. I, I love the way this card looks. That's another one. I, I would love it if we got collector's rare. Like, seriously, Konami, if you... Happen to watch any of my videos, listen to me at all. Seriously, I want collector's rares. That would be amazing to have in English. And even these extra secret rares and stuff too. I want a few more rarities and bring back ghost rares and ultimates, by the way. You know, <laughs> if you're listening, I'm just saying. I might as well ask for a few things. But yep, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm definitely happy with this because this set, I don't think you could get a bad box of this set, honestly. Unless you just get, I guess, all ultra rares. But I don't see that happening because this set is just awesome. Like, everything in it looks amazing, especially our collector's rares. I think that's easily my favorite because just look at that. That looks awesome. He has so much shine to him as well. Then Pop Desires and Ultimate that's cool. I'm sure it's a lot easier to get to out of this. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we got a lot of good Ultra Rares, too. Even Winter Cherries and Feather Duster, a couple of Tamias, even, and even Ultima Zulkin. So we got a few doubles on our Ultra Rares, but still really cool. So... Like I said, that I don't think you could really do bad with this set at all. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. As always, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I don't feel like I'm overhyping this set at all either because this seriously is like the best set that's ever come out for those CG and probably even for the whole card game. But yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And also hit that subscribe button too because anything new that comes out for Yu-Gi-Oh! is English or Japanese, I do openings on it. And also have news videos and other things too. So if you want to stay updated with everything Yu-Gi-Oh! Be sure to subscribe. Also hit that bell icon too so you're notified when I upload a new video. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.